Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of Record of Ragnarok, Chapter 76. Let's get into it. This is probably going to be the last chapter of the fight? I don't know. But either way, the title is Advance. The, r <clears throat> the roaring cheers of humanity are boiling up. Even when backed into a desperate situation, the man who is challenging God is uniting humanity as one. Okay, so we've got... <coughs> mm, excuse me. We got Jack and his Valkyrie. Good, good, good. What an upbeat guy. And they're just watching it on some old little TV. Jack's just kind of like, Ah, oh, yes. Let me pet this unicorn. If you don't give up, you never know what might happen. Keep at it, Sister Gondal. Hmm. The only problem is how to break through that shield. You see? It's very tricky. Tricky, 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 trick. Anyway. Alrighty. He's only got the one coil left. So let's see where this... <sighs> <clears throat> uh, apparently a very tiring day. <clears throat> I've been fighting trying to stay awake so I could do this chapter. Let's see here. Tesla, with all his wounds, is preparing to strike Beelzebub with all his remaining strength. Okay. Go for it, Tesla. Finish it quickly, Beelzebub. Let's do this. And the punch and guard... Tesla's full force right hook is blocked perfectly by Beelzebub. What? Now a left hook? <clears throat> well, if one doesn't work, and what? He whirls around for another What? I'll just keep hitting you until it does. Oh, rapid punch. Plasma pulse punch. Mobius. Okay. I like that. <clears throat> Seems to be ending in the same result. Fast. There's no gap between his strikes and withdrawals. Oh my. No way. It's... Yeah, but it... Wait. Is it... Oh my god. It's... Is it actually doing damage to him? Huh. Is Beelzebub focused entirely on defense? Tesla. What a gamble. <coughs> Gotta... Keep saying that I don't like the design of Edison. Unstoppable. Tesla's continuous punches and advances leave no room to breathe. It doesn't stop. Nikola Tesla's advance is unstoppable. Is Tesla planning to directly smash through Beelzebub's shield? Hmm. Oh, what you got to say about it, then? There's no way that continuous barrage can go on forever. Soon enough, when Tesla's strength runs out and it stops, <clears throat> he'll be devoured by Beelzebub, and that will be the end. You must really be betting on Beelzebub. Eh. Even Beelzebub with that body is the same as Tesla. He won't be able to keep vibrating and defending forever. Okay, so this is a battle of attrition. Who will, who will cave first? <clears throat> Which actually does seem to be the case with more of these fights than not as of the last several rounds, I think. Let's see here. Don't you lose, Beelzebub. If you die here, I'll kill you myself. I always hate those. I'm like, but if you die, then what are you supposed to have? Unless you have resurrection powers. Let's see here. Go for it, Tesla. Do your best. Just a little more. You can still win. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got our two Valks. Oh, hang in there, Tesla son. Endure it, Beelzebub. If the human bastard runs out of power, it's your victory. So we're getting cheers from both sides, as you would expect. <coughs> this battle is hot, hot, hot. Okay, Loki. Nicola! Such a beautiful radiant. Hello, Aphrodite. How are you? How are your tits doing today, girl? Uh, the spear of the strongest scientist in human history and the shield of the strongest god of the underworld. Wait, 
strongest god of the underworld? What? Is it because Hades is now dead? <clears> hmm. <throat> Will it be destroyed or repelled? The clash of wills between gods and humanity. Sparks! Okay. Going in for what looks like a final punch and a step. <laughs> sea science and God are evenly matched. Our... Is that Confucius? I think that's Confucius. Our trial and error were not in vain. Triumph! Tesla. And prove it! Prove the pride of human science is absolute. Reaching even the gods. Okay, what? Oh, well, those are his punches. Okay, I was like, what is that? The Lord of the Flies, Beelzebub, who cuts away at his own body to seize victory. Humanity's only magician, Nikola Tesla, who seeks to surpass God through science. Who will reach their limit first? And, ah, uh, shit, it was Nikola. Nikola Tesla. He's coughed up blood. Is this damage caused by the false god move? The characteristics of its vibration, it seems that the inside of my body has been significantly damaged. <clears throat> the shockwaves that cancelled each other out are byproduct. From the moment I touched that spherical vibration, I must have been inflicted by or affected by the vibration itself, just as I thought. This is interesting. Oh, but he reassures his footing and goes back in. But will it be enough? Okay, he punches directly with the skull. Oh, but gets repelled. The barrage has stopped. Ah, this is bad. <clears throat> oh, coming in with a karate chop. It's over! Hmm? Time has drowned. What? What? Plasma pulse punch jet! <clears throat> uh, what? Uh, Sorath Samek. Gates of Hell. <coughs> okay. Thank you, God. So he charges in with the last of his Tesla coils going at full power. Science has now evolved wait did it just get bigger it freaking did like it had like a little antenna looking thing on it before but now it's like a spike <clears throat> but it is breaking <laughs> oh his fist just exploded <clears throat> well, well that his arm it's gone Wait, did he just teleport his fucking arm to hit Beelzebub? I'm wondering. Where did he go? Is it somewhere else? Wait a bit. Hmm. He's readying his other? Oh my god. I was right. He teleported his fucking fist. <laughs> What kind of guy is he? <laughs> so Zeus is just kind of like, What the blooming hell? Only his right arm was teleported in an instant. From behind, a right fist. At the same time, a left fist approached from the front. So he's hitting you on two fronts. You haven't done this. In other words, Plasma Pulse Punch Cross. Well, I mean, this is a very situational move. An unavoidable pincer attack. Hurrah! And is it enough to do anything? Please let it be enough. Please let me... Oh. He deflects or defends against the, uh, the right hand. And the left hand gets up... Or the most of his body just gets slashed. Damn. <clears throat> but he has dropped his weapon. What? Oh no. He pierced Tesla's armor. Ooh. Blood out the back. No. Hmm. 
and the last coil breaks. You noticed, didn't you? Huh? Huh, man, I thought it was a good plan, but I guess I was naive. The man who literally has fingers going through his chest and everything is just like, huh, I guess I, I didn't do it right. <laughs> you were one step ahead, it seems. <clears throat> no, I just trusted you. Someone like you wouldn't just challenge me to a mere paddle or struggle. Of that, there is no doubt. It's an honor. Well, was an honor you're about to drop dead now. He pulls out the fingers. N Nicola! And he actually stands there. What the? Okay. Humanity. Raise your heads. Through this fight, we have evolved once again. As long as we don't give up in science and in humanity, Ragnarok will never come. Uh-oh. I think the Valkyrie is uh, disintegrating. The Voland is ending. And she's dying. Sister Gondel! <clears throat> Nicola. Humanity, look forward. Humanity, don't stop. Humanity, humanity. Humanity, advance forward. And now his, his body is just breaking apart. Aw. All of humanity, at least the contestant side of things, are just, like, uh, crying, mourning, but those in the crowd, while some are crying, they are still cheering his name. The winner of Ragnarok Round 8 is the Lord of the Flies, Beelzebub. Hades, once again, you got in the way. Oh. Nikola Tesla versus Beelzebub. Match time, 18 minutes, 6 seconds. Deciding move, Satan's Horns. What? I don't remember that name. Winner, Beelzebub. So it's finally, sadly, over. And it was not the one I was hoping for, but, you know, I can't really deny both backstories were quite touching. Um, <clears throat> their character dynamics, obviously, pretty strong. Um, maybe Tesla was a little one-note, you know, with his enthusiasm for science but I can't say that it wasn't infectious um, so yeah him being able to teleport his fist was a cool finishing move at least for his end of the fight it didn't finish the fight it just was his last move I should have said um, but yeah hmm Ah, uh, this one's... I can't say it was one of the best fights. That still probably goes towards, um, like, say, the Poseidon, like, round three with Poseidon, or round four with Hercules. Those fights, they're still going to ring true to me, but this one... It was a different kind of dynamic, and I do like that that's kind of what every fight has been doing. So, we'll have to wait and see, obviously, wh what the next matchup is. Is it somebody I'm even going to know? Because that has been a trend with some of these uh, characters, be it on the mythical or the historical side. So... But anyway, raise a glass for the man of science. And also get a fidget spinner and just spin the shit out of it and be like, Tesla go! Tesla go! <laughs> or something like that. I don't know, but hmm. <sighs> in like a lightning bolt, but gone in a flash. The story of Nikola Tesla. But, 
Anyway, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Rivers channel, so go check that out. Which should be coming out tomorrow, but we'll see. At least that's, I think, when we're supposed to record. But, as always, later days. Until next time, Keeshlings. Hear the buzzing of the flies. As another human dies. But all that rings on in my heart is... Science!